Day six of the 12 day soccer challenge. Today is all about speed. I want you to try this 15 minute speed routine. You're only going to do each exercise one time. Today we're not focused on getting tired. We're focused on getting fast. First one is lateral strides. And I'm just trying to move my feet as quickly as possible. With the resistance, I'm trying to push out as far as I can, but still focusing on being quick. So you can go for about 20 seconds. Uh, that's what I recommend. But in reality, I'm just trying to go as fast as I can until I start to lose my quality. When I feel I'm getting sloppy, then I'll just stop and rest and then I'll move on to the next exercise. So again, resting in between and focusing on just kind of recovering. I want to feel that I've recovered enough that I can go and really push myself as fast as I can on the next exercise. So obviously you can get different um, strengths of resistance in the bands, but challenge yourself. It should feel a little awkward, should feel heavy. You should feel like you're fighting against something. These are the forward strides. Focus on pumping your arms there. Here, this is another uh, hip flexor exercise, really strengthening those hip flexors. So this one, rather than speed, it's more power and hold, power and hold, power and hold, drive and hold. Working on that arm movement as well. I should be getting my arms up a little higher. I want to pump them with a little more power. But lifting those toes up, lifting your hip flexor, your knee up, really driving it forward, focusing on that good power and pump. So now I'm going to do the same exercises, but I'm going to do them without the resistance band. Again, I'm just doing one set for each exercise. But now that I don't have the resistance, I feel a little faster, feel a little more explosive. And that's the idea behind it. Doing the forward strides, really focus on good arm movement here. If your arm mechanics are off, it's going to be very awkward and it's going to be difficult to keep your rhythm. So really focus on your arms and hip flexor, pump and hold, pump and hold. Focusing also on that planting foot, really planting with good power, good balance, strength in your toes, having a strong foot, so flexing your ankle, flexing the balls of your feet, and really pumping, keeping your upper body up nice and straight as well. Don't hunch over with your back. Good core strength as well. Moving forward, so this is the quick step, a lateral quick step. So all these exercises, you're going to do a little quick movement and then accelerate out of it. So here watching, this is the figure eight. Again, I'm just doing one set each direction. And because I was walking back, I clipped these. So usually I would just walk back and focus on my breathing. As soon as I got back, I would go into the next one. So you're working on your speed, a little recovery in between. But even if you're tired, just go for it. Focus on that speed again. So you're getting some stamina out of it. This is the next set of exercises. The first one is a quick step. So quick forward, quick back, and then accelerate through. Then you're going to go into a side shuffle, side shuffle there, side shuffle back, accelerate through. On both sides, again, just one set, one repetition for each side. This is a cross step, so instead of a side shuffle, I'm stepping across my front foot and then sprinting forward. You'll see if you watch it a few times, cross step, cross step, and then sprinting forward. These side ones and the cross step are really good for improving your defending technique. This is a rotation, so instead of cross-stepping or shuffling, I'm actually planting on that foot and rotating away, rotate away, and sprint out. 